Clinical Information Reconciliation, or CIR, is the process of confirming and compiling patient health information from more than one source. Your practice will have the opportunity to use this functionality after receiving a CDA through a direct message sent by another provider. If you have imported a CDA, there will be a Reconcile button below the contents of the document. The Reconcile button will allow you to select which structured information you would like to import into the patient's chart, while at the same time comparing the new information to the existing information in an attempt to eliminate duplicate data. The reconcilable information includes medications, diagnoses, and allergies. To reconcile the data, click Reconcile. You will see three tabs across the top of this dialog, Medications, Diagnoses, and Allergies. If there is no data in this CDA document related to one of those three, it will indicate that in the tab name and your dialog will be defaulted to the first tab that has information. Here is an example portraying that situation. Within this CDA, there were no medications or allergies to import. However, there were diagnoses, so you will be defaulted to the Diagnoses tab. Each tab will have three columns within it, one for the current information, one for the available information coming from the CDA, and finally the final merged list. The information coming from the CDA, whether it is medications, diagnoses, or allergies, will be color-coded. To find definitions for these colors, click the legend. Generally, green means there is complete information, yellow means there is only partial information, red indicates the information was not found and needs to be manually entered, and blue indicates that the match was found. Before we go through some examples, let me explain the options that you will have for each section. The options I explain next will be available in all three tabs. First, within the Current section, once a data element is selected, you will have the option to discontinue it if necessary. On the Diagnoses tab, this option will be labeled Resolve, and on the Allergies tab, it will be labeled Remove. Within the Available section, you will have the option to either add all the non-skipped information by clicking Add All, or you can add one at a time by highlighting an individual data element and clicking Add. If the data element is not found and must be manually entered, and or if it is already active on the chart, the Skip box will automatically be checked and you will not be able to add it. If there is information that you deem not necessary to import, you can either check the skip box or just ignore that information altogether. Within the final section, you will have the option to remove any current data by highlighting it and clicking discontinue or remove. Or you can modify the imported data by highlighting it and clicking Change. And again, just a reminder, the action options at the bottom will be the same for the Diagnoses and Allergies tabs as well. To move from tab to tab after making changes, you must click Confirm to save your information. Then click Yes to confirm. You will then receive a confirmation dialog where you should click OK. You will then see the screen update and be able to navigate to another tab. When you're done with the reconciliation, click Cancel. After clicking Cancel, the CIR dialog will close and you will be back in the patient's chart. If you made modifications, you will see that reflected in the chart note and on the face sheet.